Hawaii represents. Hawaii represents. What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to Superfina channel. I am a variety content creator, meaning I cover a variety of things I'm interested in. And today we are going to talk about my experiences in Final Fantasy XIV Online. I really like this game. I stream it on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Superfina. I stream it every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I usually stream a variety of things, but this is the main game. This is a game I stream most of the time. Why? Because I like it. I have fun with it. And the community is great. Everybody who like comes into the chat, they're familiar with the game. And they're just so welcoming. And they just enjoy talking about it, seeing my reactions. They're so supportive. And um, my community, before I got into Final Fantasy XIV, they still hang around too. And they like the story. They like seeing my reactions. It's just really fun. Final Fantasy XIV has a lot of stuff. It has a story. It has side quests. It has different class quests. There's just a lot of stuff going on. And sometimes they have events. Like right now, today is September 2020. Right now they have a yokai event where people need to start at a certain place and then they go to fates. And fates are usually random fights that pop up in certain areas and they give you certain drops, certain experiences. So this yokai event, when you go to these fates, they'll have drops related to yokai watch. Yokai watch is a anime, I think. I think. I'm not familiar with this anime because it's usually targeted to kids. It reminds me of Beyblade, if you know what Beyblade is. Anyways. So they have that right now. Before that, they had the Moonfire Festival. Now, patch 5.3 passed. When 5.3 was about to be activated, they had a reveal of what's going to happen after 5.3 is installed. And one of the reveals was the Moonfire event. And they showed the outfit. And I was psyched for this because it looked like what we wear in Hawaii. They had like the lahala hats, which is like dry leaves weaved into a hat. They had aloha shirts. They had um, like they had like a type of baby suit top and a pareo or sarong, and that's what we wear in Hawaii. So I was like psyched about that. I was like, what? Hawaii represent. Hawaii represent. Like, I was not expecting that. So I did a Moonfire event. And they had a emote dance. And people were telling me like, Oh, you need to get the emote dance. You need to get it. I'm like, okay, I'll get the emote dance. So if you're wondering what emote dance is, let's start with emotes. We can do emotes. We can do emotions. We can do expressions. Our character moves certain ways according to those. And dances are also included. So they have different kinds of dances. The Moonfire Festival had its own dance too. And it was the hula! It was the freaking hula! Like, I recognized the moves! I grew up dancing hula! I was fortunate enough where the elementary school I went to, they taught every grade how to dance hula. Like, the basic moves. Basic moves. Like, picking the flowers, the waves, doing the rain, doing the sun. Like, basic moves. Just, like, tell the story of what the Hawaiian song was talking about. So the Moonfire Festival had an event where you need to save the area from sharks, these shark monsters. And there was this ritual that was passed on from generation to generation in this certain family. And it was the Moonfire Dance. It utilizes these firebomb creatures and doing the dance gave the monster power, strengthened it. So when we did the event, we learned the dance. It was totally the hula. Totally the hula. Totally. Bruh, it was the hula. It was. <laughs> and you learned that. And then an event happens. A fate. A fate. Remember when I talked about a fate with the yokai event? This one had a fate too. It was always in this one era where this particular event 
for this particular thing. So a bunch of people, they went to the event so they could acquire the remote dance. So there's all of us, all of us, all of us characters. We're there and we're doing the Moonfire dance. Totally this is lit. And I'm just seeing all these characters, all these characters in the game doing moves that I grew up with in Hawaii. It was amazing to see. And so there was a move to make the firebomb grow. And then there is like a move to give the firebomb creature power so it could attack the shark monster. It was interesting. So you had to like move in, move back, move in, move back. Very interesting, a very unique experience. I'm so glad I was able to do it. After I did that, I told my partner like, yo, you need to do this now before this event ends because it was a limited time. This event was a limited time. And everybody else I knew in Hawaii that was playing Final Fantasy XIV, I was telling them like, bro, you need to do the Moonfire Festival. You got to. And I didn't tell them what was included in it because I didn't want to spoil it for them. And fortunately, some of them made it just in time. They made it on the last day. Oh, I was so happy for them. I was like, yes, represent, represent what you got. Speak Square Enix included the Moonfire Festival with the hula dance because Japan and Hawaii, they have a relationship. A lot of people in Japan travel to Hawaii for vacation, have that tropical vacation. A lot of people in Hawaii travel to Japan experience that Japanese culture, Asian culture, eat the food, look at the temples, the castles, like they have they have the tourist attraction towards each other, that traveling relationship. You know, there's always some deals to go to Hawaii from Japan, always some deals from Hawaii to Japan, Japan to Hawaii, etc etc. I was pleasantly surprised that they included Hawaii and it made sense to me. I'm like, yeah Hawaii and Japan, they have that traveling relationship. They totally do. <laughs> it made sense. There's a lot of people in Hawaii who are Japanese. Majority of people are Asian in Hawaii. Hawaiians are minority. We're a minority. There's just too many mixed people in Hawaii. I myself am half Hawaiian. I'm half Hawaiian, half white. And I am the minority in Hawaii. I am. So, as I said before, Japan and Hawaii does have that relationship pretty strong. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video about the Moonfire Dance. I like talking about it. If you like this, give it a like. If you didn't, didn't care for it, you can give it a thumbs down. Any comments, opinions you have, leave them in the comments below. Or you can talk about it in the Discord. We have a Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. A lot of us in the community play Final Fantasy XIV and we are interested in other things too. So there's like some threads on different subjects like anime, manga, food, other games, etc, etc. And I also host podcasts across worlds where I talk about anime and manga and other things I'm interested in. I'll leave a link for that in the descriptions below too so you can check it out. It's like, no, it's your fault. No accountability. None. Making me hurt. Me, not hurt. Making me hate Serena more. I'm like, this bitch. Like, my emotion is high here. Like, really high. <laughs> like, I'm filled with so much, like, hate. <laughs> Annoyance. I wanted people to die. And then here it comes to, so you know, using her stick, which stop. We talk about a variety of titles. So we talked about Beastars, Violet Evergarden, Magical Girl Sight. We talked about Akutsuki no Yona. Yeah, variety. Okay, a variety. So check it out. I also stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Check me out. Hang out with us. We talk. We hang out. Come on by. Come on by. We're super chill. Just sometimes when I'm in the trial or dungeons, you know, I'm concentrating on the game so I don't die. Yeah, I don't like to die during these things. Who does? Who does? Who, who wants to die? No one does. I don't. So 
please understand. <laughs> I hope you guys like this. My name is Lehua and this was the Superfina channel talking about my experiences in Final Fantasy XIV. And I will see you on the next video. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump. <laughs>